Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're taking a look at something really interesting. A hidden menu with hidden buttons on your iPhone that I'm pretty sure most of you guys never knew of and never probably used it on your iPhone. But it's super cool and very, very useful. You can quickly have access to a lot of buttons that allow you to do a lot of things on your iPhone much more easily than you would do otherwise so let's go ahead take a look at this let me show you guys how to enable it how to customize it and how to set it up that it works best for you in order to use these buttons to do a lot more on your iphone now before we get started i just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel so if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them please make sure to subscribe it really helps out a lot now let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So if you're new to the iPhone and you never had an iPhone with a home button, a physical home button, you probably never used this feature. If you had an iPhone with a home button previously, probably use this to actually replace the home button. And this is what I'm talking about. You might have seen this on the iPhone. So if we go under settings, go under accessibility, go to touch, we will have assistive touch right here. You probably know about this, you enable it here and they get the assistive touch menu. But did you know how much you can actually do with this? And here's the first step. Now the first step you need to do is make sure that you go to customize top level menu. And from here you will see the buttons that you get on this menu and where you can add or remove buttons. So you will have some pretty useful ones like maybe go to the app switcher, take a screenshot or lock the ro rotation of your iPhone. But if you go here and you tap on a blank space or just in a space where there's an action and you replace it with device, then you will get some way more different buttons. So if we go out of here and now we go to the actual menu, you can see we have the buttons here, but if we tap on device, it will just unlock another menu. Now from here, I can lock my device. I can rotate the screen of my device, mute my device. You can see the ringer right there, mute and unmute directly from here, which is pretty cool. I can turn up the volume or turn down the volume of my device, as you can see right there at the top, only using this menu. I don't have to actually reach for any of the physical buttons to do this. Now, if I go to more, I will have, of course, even more options. I can go to the app switcher from here, I can actually even restart my iPhone if I want to, and I have other options as well. So let me just show you one of them. So you know that there is a feature on iOS where you can shake your device to undo something. Well, you can shake it without having to physically shake your device. You go to the menu right here, and they will have shake device, and I can now undo that text that I have just typed right there. It's actually really, really cool, and it works very well. So you can see what we have here, all the different actions. So again, we can go to the camera, home screen, of course. We can bring down the control center if we want to and we will have all the other actions right here like take a screenshot go to the app switcher and on device you see again all the different settings here we can call sos take a screenshot invoke the reachability view and do a lot more but you can actually even customize this menu so let's head back on to the settings app so the menu itself will actually contain a few gestures so you can see right here you have custom actions you will have single tap in this case, it opens the menu, but I can also double tap to go to the app switcher or long press it to actually go to the home screen. So just like that, you can just add any action you want. So if I go to double tap right here, I can add any other action. So I can use double tap to maybe just go ahead and invoke the control center. I don't want to reach at the top. I just double tap there and there I have the control center. You can do a lot of things with this and it's actually really, really useful. You can also use it to actually pitch and rotate or just pitch, invoke the reachability, rotate the screen of your device, take a screenshot, invoke Siri, volume up, volume down. All those things can actually be used on these actions here. What you can also do is just set any shortcut that you have on your iPhone to one of these actions. So if I just want to invoke one of these shortcuts, I can do that actually simply by choosing the action that I want. I can even place these shortcuts on the menu right here. So if I go back to customize top level menu, what I can do from here is actually choose one of these here, just a, a space there. We have up to eight buttons, so you cannot have more. And I can just choose to have any of the shortcuts that I have on my iPhone are right there. So anytime 
I want to run a shortcut, I can just tap here, show the menu and run the shortcut from here. I can have maybe more shortcuts there and just invoke any of them directly from here. Now here is another really cool feature of this button. So what you can do is also create customized gestures. So create new gesture. If you go there, you can actually create a gesture. So maybe just a swipe down or something like this and we can tap save on it, add a name. And once we have added a name, we can actually set that right here on the menu. So let's just choose this and I can go ahead and choose the custom menus, custom actually actions right here. So let me just find where that is. So then we have the custom gestures right there. I can go ahead and select it. And then of course I will be able to actually invoke that using that button right there. It is as easy as that. Now what's really cool about this menu is that most of these things will also work on your lock screen. So if you go to the lock screen and invoke the menu, you can maybe take a screenshot here if you want to, or do something else. Not everything will work, but a lot of things actually will work here, like muting and unmuting your device. And of course you will have the other things right here, like rotating the screen. You can also go ahead and also change the volume right on your lock screen. And if you go to more, you will also have all the other stuff like the reachability view and all that, which actually do also work within the lock screen and of course these will work in the apps as well so on the home screen lock screen and on the inside the apps as well another thing that your iphone will allow you to do if you don't want to have that button all the time on the screen of your iphone is that you can actually head on to the settings go under accessibility and from here go to touch and you will have your back tap and now you can choose double tap or triple tap to show and hide that button so you go to double tap and you go ahead and just find here assistive touch so here we have assistive touch and now you can use double tap or triple tap whichever one you want to actually show and hide that button whenever you need to so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are some pretty cool actions and some pretty cool things that you can do with these hidden buttons that you probably never knew you had on your iphone this is again super super useful and if you're someone that's new to the iphone and actually never have used an iphone with a home button you probably never needed this button because those home buttons back in the day used to break a lot so a lot of people use this to actually replace their home button and now that doesn't we don't have the need for that but you can actually do as you see here a lot more you can have up to like 12 or 14 i believe different buttons here on one one menu which you can access from anywhere on your device and are actually super super useful so that's pretty much it for this video guys thank you guys for watching as i said at the beginning of the video most of you guys are currently not subscribed to the channel so please make sure to subscribe if you enjoy the videos that will help the channel a lot and leave a like on this one if you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next video